All right, story time. So the other day, one of my coworkers who's a motion designer came up to me and he wanted to be able to build a cage, low polygon grid, and he wanted to be able to put circles on all of the intersection points. And he was hoping that there was a way that in Illustrator you could automatically generate those. He's used to working in C4D and he knew a technique to do that there, but unfortunately there isn't a way to automatically generate that sort of thing in Illustrator. After I went and played around with it a little bit, I developed a text-based effect, a text look, which you probably saw in the thumbnail. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. The circles that we're going to generate on those points, you're not going to have to build and, and place them manually. I've got a way to kind of force Illustrator to make circles on those intersection points. So without any further wasting your time, let's jump into Illustrator and I'm going to show you this cool effect. Okay, here I am in my blank Illustrator document. It's a 30 by 30 canvas, and I've got a color palette set up here. I've got three colors. I've got one for my text, one for the dots that we're gonna create, and one for the polygon grid. Now, using our text tool, or type tool, press T on the keyboard to pull that up, and click on your canvas, and type out a random word. For this example, I'm going to type out hype. I don't know why, just, sounds good and hold shift on my keyboard and scale that word up and I want to track it out so I can hit command T on my keyboard to pull up my character palette and we'll track it out to 200 just like that I want to create outlines from this I don't want the type to be live and editable so we'll hit command shift oh, oh. I did that wrong because I can't see the keyboard. Command Shift O, and it will create outlines. Close up that char character dialog box, and we're gonna use the eyedropper tool, I on the keyboard, and select our pink. And we're gonna use the position um, X and Y values up here to center this up. So I know that my canvas is 30, so if I enter in 15, and tab, and 15, and enter, that text will be centered up on my canvas. That's looking good. So now let's build the polygon grid. We're gonna use our pen tool, so P for the pen tool, and we're gonna click, 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 and a final click to close up that polygon. Now because the last, um, last color that we had active was a pink fill. Our polygon takes on that characteristic. So we're going to select the polygon, we're going to hit I, and we're going to sample the navy that I want my grid to be. And by pressing Shift X, we can swap the fill and the stroke. So it had been a navy fill, it's now a navy stroke with no fill. Pull up our pen tool again and click, 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 click. You'll notice all those pink words and lines flashing up. Those are my smart guides. Command U on the keyboard will pull them up for you. And I find them very handy. I use them all the time. It's a great feature just to kind of keep you organized and let you know what's going on inside your document. Now you noticed I deselected that path before I started working. I did. I used Command Shift A on the keyboard to deselect it. If I had not done that, if I had my path active and I had a pen tool up, if I was to come over to an endpoint like this, you'll see the negative symbol that pops up. That would delete that point. Same thing if I try to create a path that overlaps in the middle here like this, the plus comes up, that adds a point to that existing path instead of creating a new path, which is what I wanted to do. So Command Shift A will drop the path, it deselects it, and now with your pen tool, you're able to click and create a new path that overlaps an old one. So Command Shift A is something that you'll use a lot when you're working with different paths inside of Illustrator. It becomes a habit for me, so I forget that I'm doing it half the time. Here we go, Command Shift A, deselect. And we're gonna start to build triangles that come over here, and some of them won't connect to the other side. We'll just go randomly like that. 
We'll make this one in here a little bit smaller. No rhyme or reason to a lot of these things, just kind of eyeballing things. You're not going to be tied to these either. You're going to be able to manipulate them if you didn't like a section. I'll show you how to do that after. Almost done. All right, that's feeling pretty decent, but like I said, there's gonna be situations where there's spots that you don't like. So for that, I'm gonna use this direct selection tool or A on the keyboard. And you can select a group of paths, like a point up here like this. And you're gonna be able to now move those all at the same time. And the only issues you'll have were any points that weren't connected might need to be relined up onto the path like that. So what I did there is I toggled in and out of outline and preview mode. Command Y on your keyboard will allow you to do that back and forth. Just helps you troubleshoot problems. So in this situation here, if I'm grabbing these points because the points on the other side were connected, they won't shift. It was just in that one area where the path pulled apart from itself because they weren't, the points at the other end weren't connected. Same thing's going to happen down there. But we can reline those up. And once you're feeling happy with that, the next thing that I like to do is to manipulate the actual letter in behind. I can extend some elements of it. And then I can create this sort of false foreground background effect by creating new pink shapes that overlap some of these grid lines. Also line up with the main character in the background. So now it looks like this section has extended in front of the grid and then fallen in behind. So we could kind of create this weave effect where the grid is dropping in behind and then coming back out in front. You do that in a few places. I'm using the pen tool. You can, there's a bunch of different ways to achieve the same effect. If you've got a complex shape or path text in the background, say it was like brush script, you could create a copy and then use the Pathfinder tool and create little slices of the more complicated path that will create this foreground sort of effect. So once you're happy with that, the next step is to create the dots that are going to line up at every single intersection. So we could do that by using the ellipse tool, L, holding down shift, creating an ellipse, sampling our blue color up here, and then going around and positioning this over top of all of our intersections, dragging out copies, and going around manually point by point to create this dotted grid effect. But that could take a while, could be tedious, depending on how complicated you get with your grid and how many letters you have. So I've got an automatic way to generate circles on top of all of those points. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select one of our navy polygons, and we're going to go select same stroke color. And what it's going to do is it's going to pick up all of the same or all of the matching strokes that you had in the document. And we're going to copy that to our clipboard with Command C. We're now going to create a new layer. We're going to lock this one, the original one, first. We're going to create a new layer on top. And we're going to paste in front that grid line. So Command F. And now the grid is going to paste in in the exact same position that we copied it from. With it still selected, we're going to go to Select 
object direction handles. And then by pressing delete, what you're gonna be left with are just the points. You're not gonna have any of the connection lines, just the, just the dots, or just the points, pardon me. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna convert those with effect, convert to shape ellipse, and now each one of those points becomes a circle. You can control the size with this dialog in here. That might be a little bit too small, so let's make this point mm, 0.75. Might be a little bit too big. Let's just make it point 0.5 then. 0.55. And we're going to hit OK. With them all still selected, use our eyedropper. And we've now created dots on top of all of those grid lines with that two or three step process. So you can see how powerful that technique has the potential of being. If you've got a much more complicated path, lots more intersection points, you can automatically generate circles on top. The important thing to keep in mind, if we go back and we undo that, when you've got all of these points selected, if they are grouped with Command G, Sometimes it's advantageous to group things together so that you don't lose track of them. But in this case, if those points are grouped, when you go to create an ellipse, it will just create one ellipse around the group. So you don't want that. You wanna make sure everything is ungrouped. So Command Shift G will ungroup it. And then when you create your ellipse, you've got the individual points, not groups, that are becoming ellipses or circles. So there's a lot of potential with this technique. You can substitute in different font styles and different treatments to get a whole other effect. The principle there can be applied to different things like backgrounds and textures. There's all sorts of other things that I can picture like geometric shapes and logos and icons that um, the same principles are all going to apply. So it's going to be how you apply it in your day-to-day -day work. So that's that. If uh, you guys made it to this point, I'm assuming that you were pretty uh, interested and the stuff that I was showing you was uh, easy to follow along with and you liked it. So at this point, it would be awesome if you did all of the things that YouTubers ask you to do. I think it's like the video, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Other than that, uh, go out, keep learning, keep creating and uh, have a good one. Cheers. Peace. Hat flip. Still here? Go home. Perfect.